Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second part in the series of Kuma videos. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the receiving of events from Windows servers and Windows workstations. Now, you can collect events from Windows operating systems by using primarily two transport types. This is in the format of Windows Event Collectors and Windows Management Instrumentation, or WMI. In both cases, we will need to use two microservices at once. Firstly, the collector, and secondly, the agent. Now, the collector is installed on the collector server that runs on Linux. It receives events from the agent, passes, normalizes um, into the overall UMA, UMA event schema, and sends to the destinations, generally, which is going to be the storage and the correlator. The agent is installed on a Windows server or workstation, so a list of supported operating systems is presented in the documentation. So to access events, the agent uses standard operating system tools to read logs and forward events to the collector unprocessed. If you select the WEC connection type, the agent reads events from the local logs of the Windows server, where it is of course installed. If Windows Event Collector is deployed on the same server, the agent can also read data from WEC subscriptions. So this is how events from regular servers and workstations in your infrastructure can be collected. If you select the WMI connection type, the agent will automatically connect to your remote servers and fetch events from the logs. The agent and the collector can be configured separately. In the agent settings, specify the FQDN of the collector server, where the collector will be deployed as the destination. We need to specify the port. We select the HTTP transport and backslash zero event delimiter. On the collector, select the HTTP transport and backslash zero as the event delimiter. This may sound complicated. Therefore, we'll use the wizard that automatically validates the collector and agent settings and sets up an agent collector linked pair. So under resources and services, select connect source, specify a collector name and tenant, so under transport, select WEC. We then go ahead and specify the FQDN or fully qualified domain name of the collector server where the collector microservice and port it listens to will be deployed. In the Windows logs, select the logs that the agent should read events from. The list features five logs by default. If a required log is not in the list, you can add it by typing in the name of the log and clicking add. The log will then appear in the list. So we're going to remove the check mark because in reality we don't have a log like that. And under event passing, we will select Windows Normalizer version 1.0. So we can see a list of extra normalizers that it contains. And we go to the routing section. Add storage and cor uh, correlator as destinations. So we have configured the agent and the collector. Both microservices are set up to work as a pair. The agent reads Windows logs and sends them to the collector using an agreed upon transport, delimiter, and other details. This turned out to be relatively simple. So let's create the services. The wizard suggests examples of commands that can be used to install services in operating systems. The first command is installing the collector. Copy it and run it on the collector server. The collector has been installed, but remember to open the port that the collector listens to. In this case, we have already opened it up. So then we're going to run the other command on the Windows server where the agent will be installed. I have a server. Um, example.local. Um, so the kuma.exe application file is inside an arbitrary folder. 
which is kuma.exe, and it is delivered as part of the kuma distribution kit. The path to the file is specified once again in the documentation. Also, I have a command line interface opened with administrator permissions, and I'm going to change the directory with kuma.exe in it and paste the agent install command. We're going to specify the name of the user who has the permissions to run the application as a service. The agent has been installed successfully. So let's go back to the web console and look at the overall results. The demo windows collector and the agent, which is linked to it, have appeared in the list of active services. The suffix, which is auto created, suggests that the agent was created in conjunction with the collector. And with the help of the wizard, rather than obviously using a standalone resource, the agent's configuration can only be edited in the user interface um, for editing the collector. So let's look at the events. Overall, Kuma receives events from the server, example local, where we have installed the agent. Once we open up the details of one of these events, we can then clearly see all of the necessary information has been found and has been ingested by our Seam solution. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for your attention. Thank you for your time watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.